That's legit. That's legit. That's legit. It's legit. I'm legit going back to the crab. It legit. Like, I will legit. It's like a legit. That was legit. Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Sunday. Sunday fun day. Sunday was fun day. Fun day. It's pretty fun. Who did ice skating? You did ice skating? Mm-hmm. With the family. Hockey. No, I did hockey too. Did you check someone in the wall? Like your kids? Or Remington. Your okay. I took him into the wall. Good job. <clears throat> he liked it. Uh, was that at the same place that you do hockey? Mm, I, I have played in that league at that rink. Oh. So you but, went to two different rinks today. Yeah, I went to, up to the promenade, up of like 100 and, or Ken Call Road or Church Ranch Road or whatever, up by Broomfield, by the oh, big yeah, uh, Weston. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then played down in Hines Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> you drove everywhere today. I know, right? I did. He just gets in the car and it drives him wherever he wants to go. It did. See? You say, take me here, and then he falls asleep and... No. Wakes up in the night. No, location. no, no, no. No, because we were crossing over by Bellevue. Uh, no, excuse me, uh, Arapahoe Road, that bridge that comes over. Yeah. I was on autopilot. Yeah. And the shadow can cause the car to be like, whoa. <laughs> so it hit the binder something fierce at like 75. No. And you no, got to be no. on top of that crap. And so Wendy's like, what the hell? I was like, ah, it's almost like a stupid bridge. So <laughs> all things you learn. What? Well, well, why didn't you ice skate at the other place? Because we had uh, we rented ice, so it was like a big group of us. Okay, and then she's what? mean mugging me. Why? I don't know. She hates me. All right. Um, I think <laughs> the last three episodes we've had a theme here, <laughs> or maybe some of it was. Oh, it's one. it's not three episodes. It's, it's, it's called life. Years. Um, uh, no, we got a buddy that rents, uh, he's been renting ice up there okay, for an hour. And what's nice is like, because you rent it, they don't really stop you for doing anything. So we have like one in there's like, we're like, you can bring your hockey gear, what, like your gloves and sticks and whatever. Yeah. And they'll put the nets out and you can kind of take shots or whatever. And the kids can rummage around on whatever or if you want to walk on the ice you can do that or oh, like, I see, like yeah. uh my buddy mike is taking his kid and like she'll hold on to a stick and he'll just spin her around and around and fling her down the ice <laughs> you can't do that during like open skate oh it's frowned upon so <laughs> it's frowned upon so if you get a and if you get a bunch of people it's it's super cheap okay um and you just goof off for an hour yeah and, and no one's telling you like oh you need to run counterclockwise or uh, whatever yeah. like no one's saying anything about that yeah no one cares that you're skating through the middle of the ice because that's normally where like those figure skaters do their spinny spinny things spinny spinny things. um like you could sit there and be like oh i'm gonna move the hockey net and you just pick up the move the hockey net over and no one cares yeah um because normally like like in open skate there's like they don't allow, like you're not supposed to bring a stick or gloves or whatever, and uh, there's no pucks. Okay, but it, when you rent the ice, they're like, Godspeed. Yeah. <laughs> so we used, to, I mean, we used to rent uh, ice for broom ball. Broom ball, yeah. But it'd be like late at night, and then we could do whatever we want. Basically. Yeah, and this is like eleven o'clock on a Sunday. No skates. <laughs> yeah, no. We, we taped we get, up brooms and mops. Yeah, yeah. That was a lot of fun. It, it is a lot, a lot of fun. fun. Yeah. I don't remember the ice being so solid. When I was younger, <laughs> or now, your, like your, I, your old bones. I, now that I, I mean, I play a hockey all the time, but I have all my gear, right? And so, if you fall, you hit the wall or whatever. You're like, whatever. But you fall down. Yeah. Like I, I was sitting on the ice. I, had my, I was just like sitting with my knees on the ice, and like one of my buddies, like just kind of lightly threw a puck towards me. Yeah, and it hit me on the knee, and I was like. Oh god! <laughs> Old man scream. I was like, "Oh survive. god, it hurts!" <laughs> like it was so slow, and I was like, "Okay, it's gonna hit my knee. Not a big deal." And I was like, "Oh, and like Zach, that hurt and so you, bad." And then you realize, like, "Oh, my knees hurt because I'm on the hard ice. It's getting yeah, cold." But, and- <laughs> you know, fast forward three and a half hours in the day, 
and I'm playing defense, and you block a shot off the off the shins, and you're like, whatever. I, you, yeah. you got all your pads there, so you don't even. It doesn't even phase you. You're like, where's the puck? Let me go get the puck. I've I've heard that real men play without pads. Is that that is not true? That, that sounds like that sounds like a real thing. I don't play yeah. with shoulder pads. I've never actually played with shoulder pads, but I've played in beer league. But hockey. you have the rest of the pads. So oh yeah, yeah. All right, we can just discount that as the the most important is definitely man. the helmet. I've. Yeah, I've had the, I've had my head stop my fall many times. Yes, well, that and I mean, how much of a face thing do you have? Because, like, watching that NHL guys take like a puck to the face is not uh, it. It hurts. It, um, yeah, it's literally like ooh, I, I have oh. taken a puck to the throat. Yeah, Jeez. but you're still around here, so yeah, the job never got done. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, I used to have a half shield. Okay, and then it broke my nose. Okay, so I have a full shield now. I have a full cage now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, 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 I would, I mean, just just like common sense wise, I'd be like, no, I don't want a hard rubber thing coming at my face at 80 miles an hour. I would rather have it covered up so I'm not losing teeth or popping out my eyes, out of my eyes. My captain had a, had a guy, um, I guess they would have, they had a disagreement on the ice. Okay. Or uh, scuff. This gentleman did not appreciate my captain's banter. And in a play, he turned around and may or may not have done a slap shot-ish towards his face, and he's got a big dent in his uh, visor, like right at eye level. You get, I mean, when you look at his helmet it, or his cage, it's all er, comes in and goes back out. And he's like, oh, wow. It was like a two-week-old cage, and he's just like, so. Like, yeah, two weeks before that, it would have been. Like He's always broken, had a cage, a broken cheek, or something. but it's like I mean, there's like you, you shouldn't be taking shots at people unless it's a goalie, and then it's like kind of their, I mean, right, that's, that's their profession, yeah. or they're but just just accidentally like not that, not too often, yeah, yeah. often enough to where <laughs> I may or may not have had a shot go off target, sure. Sure. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you know. You, you not not total. Not, it wouldn't do that on purpose. No, and I don't have a good shot. So, I mean, they're just going to look at me like, you idiot. You fat idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you you old fat idiot. Just <laughs> be gone, right? Nice. Uh, if I had a good shot, I, I mean, they may be more irritated, but they just like, God, you suck. <laughs> I mean. Beer league. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so. Nice. Yeah. Or you learn about hockey, ice skating, ice skating. Yeah, we're gonna take Clementine. She's uh, she's gonna start lessons soon, um, which I'm actually really excited because she absolutely loves being on the ice. Nice. Like she went and she was real timid, and then she figured out it's kind of fun. Now she's running around like crazy. And we've taken her two weeks in a row, and she's just like, "I want to go again." I'm like, "Nice, okay." So is that like figure skating type stuff, or no? What? She's gonna do learn to skate. Okay. And then I'll put her into hockey so we actually utilize a good reason for ice. Okay. Because figure skating. It's not a good reason for ice. It's a good waste of a good sheet of ice for hockey. She could be a uh, gold medalist, you know, gold gold medal skater. <laughs> I hope grumpy. she doesn't go. I hope she doesn't go down that direction. I'd rather her, like, go play hockey. Grumpy Josh. But. She's on ice. I'm yeah. not gonna. I can't falter at yeah. all. So if she wants to go do dancey stuff, yeah, well, no, she, she could do like racing. You know, like the speed uh, skating. The That's speed always skating. cool. In, like the, oh, in the winter, yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that Aho guy or Ano, Ano, Ano. Yeah, yeah. I don't sure. Know. I mean, you are in the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are in the state for that. I am. Yeah. Colorado Springs. That's where. That's where a lot of. Oh, that's are. right. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, so like, uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna get her to skate. And then after that, and then like they have a really good program in Colorado where like it's like 190 bucks, and you get like 10 hour long lessons, and all the hockey gear. Oh. Um. That's crazy. So it's like a really good deal if you want to get your kids into skating and, yeah. and playing hockey and and learning the game. Yeah. We'll get her into that. If she takes off, great. If she's like, now, yeah, 
then you move on. Or I mean, but if she likes, I mean, she likes skating. Yeah, you just let it go. It's so like that. We're kind of like, just like you do like the uh, what is that? Like the Ice X games, like where they have like the the obstacle oh, that looks course. So on, fun! Uh, yeah. Oh my god! I'd be. Uh, I, I would be in the hospital. Yeah. But I would so do it. I mean, right as they put you in the ambulance, I'd be like, oh, God, that was so much fun. Oh, God, my spleen. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming back when my leg is back on straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly. We were watching that on TV. It looks. It's brutal. How do you even, like, get into that sport? Like, no to, to where those courses exist and that you could practice and actually get good at it? I don't think you don't. I don't think you get to practice. No. You, you're, you're just like. I've ice skated since I was. I think you four, live in like and I live in Ottawa or somewhere <laughs> yeah. like that, and they're like, "Hey, we're here today. You we're we're off, here this week." You live on the mountains, and you've got to go to town, and you just go. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, yeah. I, I've um, I would totally do it. Yeah, like, but oh, they might have like an amateur day. Where oh yeah, like, there is a way that you could like sign up and try to. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't think like I don't think you get a test run. I think they're like. Like, here All you right, go. number 374, yeah, <laughs> and 384, yeah, and two other people. Yeah. On Off your marks, go. get set, Godspeed. <laughs> yeah. I uh, hope you have your insurance card and sign the waiver. I hope you looked at the track. <laughs> uh, bye-bye. Yeah. No, it'd be fun. I would do it in a heartbeat. I would do it without skates. I would just go free ball it. No, <laughs> you want the skates. Nah, that's all right. You get all the gear. No, I, I can have the gear and not the, not the uh, skates. I just want to run it. With like some ice spikes. Yeah, let me know how that goes. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, my name is Paul Perosa. As we got Anson not on no Anson on Twitter. Yeah, yeah. And I, I never use Twitter, but yeah, I'm Anson on, on IG, and then we got oh, that Josh on Twitter. Me? On Twitter, yeah, probably. Yeah, I never check it. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, so we got Anson Young, Josh not on Twitter. My name is Paul Perosa. Yeah, how are you guys doing? This is top Hi. three. Top it's top three. It was sort of been Josh talking show. hockey. Yeah, and skating. Yeah, that's when we can't get Josh to shut up. Yeah, shut up, Josh. Right? Yeah, we played out our whole uh, intro music. So, um, how do we find you on social medias, Anson? Uh, at Young Anson on Instagram. Yep. And that's then, me. Josh, how do we find you? The guys top three dot show. There you go. And then you can find me at Paul Procise. And then we can um, email me or Josh or Anson at the, the guys at top three dot show. Yeah. And yeah, so um, if you want to email us, make sure you do so, um, and we'll give you a shout out on the the show, just like Nick has and Jordy has, and we love to um, get in co- um, touch with you. Autumn. If you have an autumn, um, yeah, has tagged us and um, talked to us on on the socials, and we we'd love to um, get in touch with you. If you'd like to sponsor us in any ways or um, uh, be a part of this show, we'd love to um, contact. Um, you and just have a conversation with you and we'd love to hear from you and we have a lot of opportunities we have um, a great sponsor um, with me personally if you'd like to sponsor any of us personally or um, the show as a whole we'd love to contact with you um, and we do obviously um, um, love to partner and uh, talk with um, great things uh, uh, companies um, locally we we do a lot of good um, things with uh, local companies so if you'd like to um have us come and talk with you guys individually or you like us to visit with you like welcome home brewery that we've done where we've um, visited and actually gone into the shop um, or a, a brewery or a pizzeria or any of those kinds of things. We'd love to hear from you. We'll do well. it all. Yeah. You'll do it all. Do I, it. Wait, I, I can't talk. Sorry. We'll do everything. What the hell are you talking talk about? about oh, you're just bitching. So I'm not going to talk anymore. Oh, I'm bitching. You were Jeez. bitching early. We talked to him. Talk too much. You talk no, too much. You talk too much on a podcast. You talk too much about hockey. How dare you? Yeah, that happens. We just, we just talk about hockey, and you can't get Josh to shut up. That's also, true. by the way, Tampa Bay sucks. Hey guys, Paul Procise here for Built Bar, and I just want to talk to you just real quick about the awesome. Um, products that these guys have. Now they've got a whole line of really good things. They've got some drink things and, and they've always got discounts going on. So I would highly encourage you to look at the website built new URL built.com. And then you go to discount. If you need a discount, use my promo code, Paul P A U L at the checkout. But what I would love to briefly talk about is their, um, their product. 
And this is my personal favorite. It's the raspberry cheesecake. When they come out with these specialty flavors, I snap this one up. Personally, I love this one. And then they've got bites. These bite-sized flavors, for personally, my wife throws this either in her purse or my kids. My kids love these size these sizes because they're snack sizes or they're just on the go things they grab them when they go jump on their bikes and go run around in the neighborhood and that kind of stuff um every bar has 15 to 19 grams of protein they have real chocolate extremely low sugar and they've also got um like i said the drink things um they've got broth and i'm um, just that I means i'm telling you they, this company is really awesome there's so many options on the website built.com promo code paul check them out today Built dot com new url url built.com check them out haul at discount um and the options at the end of checkout built.com promo code paul we'll see you soon <sighs> yeah he's a blues fan and a golden knights fan that's a lie that's that is wow. not a lie a wow. lie Eric and I, Eric, is Eric and I, Eric is know that you and uh, Eric. you, yeah, no, you're Eric, a member. He Eric, likes it's Eric's fault that is the Golden Knights one. Yes, but you like the Golden Knights. And it's you not like the true. Blues. We know that that's not true. It is true. What's wrong with the Golden Knights? They suck and they beat the Abs. Knights are cool. Gold is cool. You can shut up. Expansion teams are cool. Yeah, when you get in, mm, let's not go there. But but <laughs> they uh, didn't they did they win their actual first year? Is that right? They get to the final. Okay, and then they then they beat <clears throat> then they beat us this year. Yeah. So, all right, good talk. We beat ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so what do you got for us, Anson? Yes, yeah, we don't know. What we 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 yeah. don't know. Oh, he yeah, hasn't yeah, told yeah. us anything. He's like, hey, I got it. I was saying I have experience with beating myself, but you guys were talking over <laughs> me. So, <laughs> um, so, all right. So uh, I gotta so, go. <laughs> so this this was one of those perfect opportunities where um, I was out and about somewhere and uh, saw some things that looked very interesting. We uh, we bought one of them. Uh, I didn't look at everything, but saw something interesting. Bought one, and then we had to go because our our son was away at scout camp this weekend and it was like our first weekend that we haven't had kids for like four or five years and so we were like what do we do i don't know kids kid well i just say kids because it's easier to say like than kid or you've named his kid. shadow the kid <laughs> um so anyways we were planning to stop at this place for some yard uh stuff junk i don't know yard tchotchkes and uh and then go pick up our kid, and um, we got like we got a call right when we pulled up at this place. They're like, "Oh, we we got back from camp early. Uh, when can you be here?" And it's like thirty five minutes away, and we're like, "We, I mean, I can hop Your in the car right now." Some diarrhea, come pick him up quick. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, we could be there in a little bit, but like even if we leave right now, it's still like forty minutes. And um, so one of the other parents that we know really well. Uh, grabbed him and took them to to their house and so we had like a little bit of time to do what we were going to do anyways well if they're early yeah you can't complain well i mean they were so early that you would have to like drop everything that you're doing to go pick them up exactly so it's so like an continue hour on you continue on with your <laughs> life like i will be there but there's, but there's nobody going to be there to, to watch them like you're basically like telling other parents what's to, like, the worst a kid watch. could do <laughs> all by himself yeah I mean, if he was at home, he'd be fine. But he I mean, was—he's he, got he was camping at, gear and matches oh, and true, yeah. <laughs> self-sufficient. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so, anyways, we went home, or we picked him up. We went home, and I was—I was like thinking, and I was like kind of kicking myself because I was like, "This would be perfect for the podcast." And then, uh, and then I didn't buy anything. Oh, I bought one thing, uh, or Stacy did, and then, uh, and then I got all the way home. This place is in Parker, so I get all the way home. And I was sitting there, I'm like, you know, I think we should have bought that. And she's like, you want to go back? I'm like, is that, you know, is that cool? And she's like, yeah, I want to check out the rest of that store. And so it's this place called the Shops of Parker. The oh, Parker yeah. Shop. Parker Shops, yeah. Parker Shoppy. Shoppy. Um, they can get propane there. So they got all kinds of, uh, it, it's kind of like the local, which is just a bunch of local or 
I don't know. I think you just like rent out or you, yeah. you like consign your stuff or something to them. Yeah. Um, but like, so it's got a bunch of yard spinners and statues and stuff out front. And then inside it's got like candles and different food, like salsas and I don't know, all okay. kinds of crazy craziness. So anyways, um, we were up at the front and at the very, very front, there's this entire, uh, th- this entire display of chocolate. And I'm looking at the different types of chocolates. <laughs> and Josh is, Josh is loving this. <laughs> and, uh, and the, and the girls and the girl, you know, she was very helpful. She's like, this is our favorite. Um, this, you know, this one flavor is our favorite. And, uh, I'm going to murder this website cause it has this pop up that won't go away. That's exciting. Um, anyways, uh, and they're local. And I was like, oh, that's cool. Like local yeah. plus, you know, so I had, so when we went back, I had my son and my wife pick out five and I don't know about any of them. So I don't know what they are. I didn't take a good look Is at it. Is it all chocolate? It's all chocolate bars. <sighs> so, uh, Hammond chocolates, uh, are handmade in Denver, Colorado since 1920. And so are over those are like the little ones like you tell as a kid. No, 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 no. Oh. It's not those little, those trash soccer chocolates. <laughs> Anyways. Um, and so, yeah, so over a hundred years in Denver and they have a bunch of crazy flavors. And, um, and like, and like I said, I didn't take a good look at them, but I was like, there's enough variety here that this could be interesting. Oh, so, God. uh, so these are random. I'm just going to pick out of a bag, not even looking in it. I've been there before, but I got propane. Oh, t- <laughs> seems like a weird place to get propane. I don't know. I was, I was trying to, I was like, where do I go for propane? And they got a big tank. I was like, oh, what do you know? <laughs> okay. So, okay. Our first one is Hammond's Pigs and Taters chocolate. What? Pigs and Taters. Shows and actually, I can't, I can't like read the, the like the, the fine print on it. So you read the fine print on it. The milk chocolate with bacon flavored bits and potato chips. Nice. <laughs> Is that what, you can't read that? Well, no, not no, not 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 till I have uh, surgery again. No wonder his eye disconnected from. Right? So like, <laughs> I, I I can read the pigs and taters, and I can probably read it if I had like more light. I'm, I'm sitting there looking at it like, what am I supposed <laughs> to read that part? <laughs> no, so um, so we'll see if we can't open these in a timely manner, but. Um, but yeah, I was excited. Cause Is your wife interested in a son in, in these? So yeah. don't break them all. Yeah. 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 Take they, them home. They, they definitely want to try them. And so we need like an Anson family top three. I know. Right. <laughs> like there you go. get them. They need, they need to come and be a part of this. Huh? There you go. So bacon bits and chips. You can see. I see. Bits. I was going to yeah, say, absolutely. I see something. What the hell? Wow. Oh, it smells like. Smells like smoky I don't bacon. Know if you can see this. It smells like smoky. Nope, nope that's, uh, can't see that really. <laughs> you should. You should smell it. It's smoky bacon. Totally. Oh, that's you can hear. <laughs> it smells like. So if you know what bacon bits smells like, it smells like bacon bits. But you can see the bacon bit. Yeah. Oh, and it's like crunchy, like a Nestle Crunch. Wow. What the hell? <laughs> Well, and I had to put it in in something cold too because it was so hot today that the first one that we that we bought basically melted on the way home. So I was smart and got a, a bag, but that's like salty, smoky, hmm. chocolatey, crunchy, and Josh's face just says it all. I don't know where the potato chip part is, but I mean, there's saltiness. There's I think it's the crunch and the salt yeah. is yeah, basically yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the potato chip. Yeah. It's so no? it's, it's, it's honestly like you took some chocolate and some bacon bits. <sighs> but like in a good like in a good way. It's not like a weird like artificial bacon flavor. Like it actually tastes like it tastes like bacon. a bacon bit, like there's a chocolate a of, bacon yeah, bit. There's a lot of salt in there. Yeah. It'd probably give you heartburn if you had too much of it, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> All right, you you got to go home and just record the kids, the the the, the kids, <laughs> the, 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 kid. the wife and kid, yeah, and you and me, and do it. 
Yeah, I I, I should have done that for the um, candy canes. Oh my gosh, that was like a pandemonium at the house because it was, oh, like the kale and the mushroom. Oh, they did not know what was about to hit them. Oh, and that, I was sitting there like, yeah, ha, 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 that mushroom one was so. <sighs> totally. It would be good to like sit them down like you did with the this week. Yeah, and just have them in your in your office and sit them down and record them. <laughs> no, no, do it at the dinner table. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, Hammond's uh, key lime pie. This is white chocolate. Mm. Oh, with. Citrusy key lime. Hmm. But you can read that. I can read that. It, it's bigger than that. Or maybe it's just the color difference. No, that's way smaller. Yeah, enough about that. <laughs> enough White about chocolate with key lime. Huh. That sounds interesting. I, I love key lime. Yeah. That we know. I don't like white chocolate. Yep. White chocolate is so much better. I have brought a key lime thing before. Uh, we, yes? Yeah. yeah. I do. Wait, did I bring the key lime? Beer or no? Or was that lemon meringue? Oh, you, you brought, brought a meringue. meringue. Yeah. Oh man, so this color is a little. Oh my god, <laughs> it's not quite white. <laughs> it's a little on the green side. I- I'm pretty excited about this actually. There's a little chunk in there. I'm really excited. Oh, it's oh my smells- gosh, <gasps> it smells like key lime there's, pie. There's definitely a lot of citrus. Oh, I'm so excited. Josh is so excited. Mm. He loves limes and chocolate. Yeah, that's good. I really like that. Um, What? That lime just gets more intense as you go. Mm. Wow. It's got like chunks of stuff. It's even got the crust. Yeah. Dude, I'm loving that. That I'm is actually incredible. loving that. No? That is so weird. Does Wendy like that? Or she likes lemon? She would <laughs> tell tell her about it. She would love that. That Dude, I'm I'm actually That's ridiculous. I'm really amazed by that. That is such that's an amazing ridiculous. flavor. Wow. We need to take a picture of that for the for the podcast or for the picture yeah we can take a picture of all of them wow that is did you like that do you like lime it's all right but that's weird that's really weird because it's so limey yeah yeah i want to know how they how they achieve that That, that explosion that is crazy here i'm gonna have my wife she loves she likes key lime pie She's all. She's do you, like, Ooh, wait, do you know that company? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have like a factory. Yeah. How do you know? She knows all these weird things. You don't stay on the internet too much. Pardon. You're on the internet too much. It's <laughs> <laughs> so good. I've lived here my whole life and I've probably never heard of them. But we want to, is that, what do you think? Yeah. yeah, she said really it's limey. Good. Do you like limeys? That would be good. That would be fun to do like a little uh, video with them. Ah, uh, I know. It's ridiculous. It's yeah. She's saying it's rich and limey. Yeah, and she wants a graham cracker graham with it. Cracker, yeah. yeah, yeah. But look at look at her. Look at her. <laughs> it's like look at her stupid face. Not supposed to say that. <laughs> yeah, <it's> so <laughs> she's good. all. All right, so, so she wow. will not get on camera. I'm I mean, excited. Yeah. So good. Oh boy, it's a dark chocolate. Maybe is that says licorice? <laughs> that would be amazing. No, that would be amazing. Uh, I will throw that in the, tr- in the toilet of his anise anise chocolate. No, oh. uh, this is Hammond's midnight snack. This is milk chocolate with pretzel, cookie, brittle, marshmallow, and cereal. Okay. So it's like you 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 go down for a midnight snack, and you grab a handful, and of you grab stuff. everything. Yeah. <laughs> huh. You're like, I want pretzel. Like I got, a, I was like, okay, chocolate. I want pretzel. Cookie. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, I'm gonna keep going. I like yeah. that concept. There's literal, yeah. Cookie, brittle, marshmallow, cereal. I still have lime. 
Now this I, I am drinking be... the the Parker Beaches from Welcome Home yeah. with the lime. I didn't oh. even think of it. Lime plus lime. L- lime plus beer. I'm excited about this one. I love like like Nestle Crunch was probably like it looks first. like a like the yeah. Crunch bar. Yeah, the I crackle, love, crackle. I love crackle like. and crunch. I'm excited about this. Are you like a Mr. Good bar? Yeah, you can see the pretzel. No, you more, can see a bunch of stuff in I'm here. I'm more of the, the crunch than the peanut. Mm. So I think Mr. Good Bar is peanut. But. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Let's see what we got. Mm. I've had way too much chocolate. Like, this is already a lot of it chocolate smells, for me. I don't know. It smells like marshmallow. It these smells guys like play These guys got really good mm, ratio of everything. And it smells again, or smell again. It smells like play doh. Ah, how dare you! <laughs> I don't. I don't get that. No, no. It smells again. It smells like play doh. It, it, it exactly smells like play doh. <clears throat> but the taste is really good. <laughs> like when you crack open that fresh play doh, and it's the kids. See, my kids have had play doh recently, so I don't smell that. I like the taste of Play-Doh. Aren't we doing top five Play-Doh soon? I got our intro video is Play-Doh. Oh yeah, yeah, it's really Clay- cool. Play-Doh, Play. we're Play-Doh, Clay, whatever, Claymation. What did you think of that? Besides it being milk chocolate, there, Josh. I don't like that at all. I like no, it. no. I really like Man, it. all the crunchies in there were were perfect. Mm-hmm. I could I could like taste out. the toffee oh, so good, yeah. or the or the brittle. Yeah, I could taste the marshmallow. The saltiness is probably just pre- the the pretzel, yeah. but man, that's solid. These guys are good. that is not I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm that like, is not good at all. How are these guys not like national, nationwide? Holy! Crap. Uh, they, they said that they're international now. Um, mm. That they're like all because over they the keep place. sending that garbage out to everyone to try, You're and they're all like, "It's gross. how dare you, you fat idiot!" Ugh. Oh boy, here we go. Cherry, nope. That was just for you, Jordy, by the way. For you. I hate you, Jordy. Jordy. All right. Uh, so <laughs> Hammond's PB&J sandwich. Milk what? chocolate with peanut butter and jelly. Okay. So, yeah, I don't, nice. think, I don't think you can go wrong with that. Um, that one is just the other one's too much stuff going on. Too much stuff. It, it was like a Weldworks beer where it's like this and this and this yeah. and this yeah. and this. And you're like, oh, my gosh, I'm not going to be able to taste I, any of that. I like our comments from Jordy and uh, and Autumn. It's like my favorite parts of the episode is when Paul, you call me a fat Paul idiot. Cause, cause Josh a fat oh, idiot. Is this like filled? Or it's own. Uh, I still hate you, Jordy. <laughs> this oh. one goes out to, to Jordy. Oh, man. Something, something you special. short idiot. <laughs> you short idiot. <laughs> something special is going on. I think it's like filled. Oh, it's it's got stuff in it. Oh yeah, you hear? Uh, what the? Oh yeah. Oh. It's like a. It's like a white stuff. Wait, what is that? It's so okay. It's got three different layers. It's a peanut. Okay. It's a, so, okay. So the top layer is chocolate. Then it's got another layer of. Um, That's just weird. Of powdered peanut butter. <laughs> and then another layer of chocolate. And then another layer of jelly. And then the chocolate. It's really interesting. I wish I could give you a close up of this stuff. That tastes like. We need like a fourth camera so we can get like top down top stuff. Down, that'd be fun. That tastes like a straight up PB and J sandwich. That's weird. That's amazing. That is so weird. This is like this is like Willy Wonka stuff right here. These guys are doing incredible work. I got to tell you. Except for that one before this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna bitch about that you? one, aren't you? Make sure Damn. you're sharing this. That episode, is so weird. Share, share this episode. Do you like that one? I do. Wow. Like, I would say go into the Parker shop. Choppy. Chop. It has an E at the end. You want to say Shoppy. If you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, make sure you click on that share button, rating it top five, all that kind of stuff. 4.7. Um, Shut up. That is so weird. 
I was, yeah. That one now, was. And not being a chocolate person. Liker of chocolate <laughs> stuff. I could not eat any of these bars. Sure. Sitting down like, wow. I can eat a block. Of the. A, of a the block. BBJ. Of all of those. Oh, okay, yeah. Nah, not not the third one or the first one. Um, I couldn't, I I mean, I don't know. My kid could sit down and eat that whole bar. Sure. And they'd be like, hey, can I, it could eat all those. I don't want the aftermath of when she pukes and all that. But, <laughs> but that PB&J one, that's not right. Yeah. Well, not right as in like. It's it good. Crazy good. All right. Uno más. One more. Last one. I was like, do we got more? Uh, mm-hmm. And there was probably, I don't know, a guesstimate would be about 15 or maybe even 20 different flavors. Oh. I have to go in there now. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. We should maybe for next episode come back around. And if we can get our butts in there, we just pick out what we think would be the best one. Yeah, that could be fun. All right, so last one. Coconut. No. Oh, it's yellow. No, I'm talking to him, and he just oh. get a coconut one just because he hates me. <laughs> Hammond's Chicken and Waffles. What? So this is chicken and waffles, milk chocolate with maple syrup is what it says. What? That one right there. Wow. Hell. Oh, you guys are all you guys are so excited. I know. I, I like I've gone to like Slice Works or whatever, and they had a chicken and waffle pizza, and oh, totally crap. Wow. Oh yeah, got got that. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, like, would the brick this be like chicken and biscuit jammed in there. You know, like <laughs> I don't know. I'm out. just trying to think of how would they flavor this. Like you know, like that that. F- oh, what the? Like the chicken bouillon in there. It kind of smells like a chicken bouillon. It, it, <laughs> I can smell the maple. Yeah. I can smell something like mm. a little savory. Oh, yeah. We're going in. Ooh, it's like uh, crunchy. Yeah. Chicken. There's a chicken bouillon flavor to it. With like some salt, maple syrup. It's chicken bouillon, right? It would have to be. And like the last part of it is like maple syrup, like maple syrup and waffles or something. <laughs> that is so crazy. I'm so <sighs> confused by this. I'm not turned off. and waffles we're, we're having my wife try a few of them yeah she'll like this one too yeah i liked it yeah you like the chicken and waffles? i do yeah that was interesting man what do you think josh too much uh chocolate <laughs> way too much chocolate right it's got a funny aftertaste it's got a chicken aftertaste. That is... Or like, yeah, like a bouillon, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> you kind of like lick your lips and you're like, mm, chicken. I love chicken and waffles. Mm, fried chicken. Is that fried chicken? I said Wendy does a pretty good chicken and waffles. <gasps> there it is. There's your bouillon. That's just weird. Oh, I was going to have her try that. Oh, um, yeah, you can. I, it just... <laughs> Although I don't think I'd want to be in the uh, tasting department for like mm, that's too much chicken soup. <laughs> I, that is so weird. That is, uh, yes, it's it's way too much chocolate. Yeah, but I, I just I enjoy that. <laughs> Did you try that, that one? Good, huh? The PB and J. PB and J. She likes. Is it not weird? It's just. I just we're, we're gonna have to go there apparently. 
They got like 20 flavors, 15 flavors. Yeah. Big ones, yeah. I don't like candy canes, so I don't know. Oh, huh. huh. It's got a funky aftertaste, but yes, you do. You smell. You smell. You taste chicken. You can smell the chicken, and right? and, and you yeah. get the that that it's maple like syrup, savory, and I'm really into that. I, I just think, yeah. She doesn't like the midnight snack. It's gross. <laughs> he just doesn't like chocolate. Well, so. well, here you want the other one. Here, here's um, what is this? Bacon. Uh, pa- bacon and yeah. chips. Yeah, yeah, bacon and chip. Here chip. We'll, we'll get her on. We'll get her on camera here in Have a second. She's gonna give a rating. Oh, what? nice. Yeah, Cabello's. The one with the horses? <laughs> oh, Murdoch's, yeah. yeah. Murdoch's. Murdoch's yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's a low, lo- I mean, local, so. Well, uh, well, now that she's had all five, we, we're going to get a rating from her. Yeah. Informal rating. She'll, she'll yeah. go first. She'll come over here. <laughs> come here. <No. laughs> she's like, uh-uh. No. Come here. Give us, give us your uh, top, three? top three, yeah. <laughs> so you got to come here. No, she's not gonna go on camera. Well, you can give it. You can hand her a mic. Wendy's top three here. That she'll. Are you gonna go on, or do you want me to? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like, wait. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, 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 I'll relay it. Yeah, we well, could do this. There you go. Okay. Is it gonna go all the way so over? There's five of them. There's five. Yeah. All right. That's as far as you can go. <sighs> okay. So <laughs> I think. <laughs> My top three are going to be. Oh, I only have two. I only have top two. All right, then do top two. You don't um, sound Australian at all. Key lime pie and the PB and J. Which one was number one? Um, it's a, it's a, it depends because one's white chocolate and one's regular chocolate. Oh, makes it sense. depends what mood you're in. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You can't have, can't like adhere to the, the rules. Your family, great, dude. Honest, the chicken and waffles. I couldn't. I couldn't taste the chicken that you guys were talking about, but it still didn't taste that great. The pigs and taters is probably my least favorite. And the midnight snack, I thought would be better, but it, it's not. All right, you heard it here first. Australia has spoken. <laughs> we got the votes. In. So it was uh, number three. Apparently, was midnight snack. No, she didn't like that one at all. I know, but she didn't oh, like the tater, right, so. Right, right. <laughs> um, <coughs> let's make Josh go first because he didn't like any of them. Definitely. <coughs> I'm coughing. I'm dying. Um, number two. <laughs> you, your wife can't go in order and you don't go in order. What the hell is wrong with you guys? <laughs> a match made in heaven. <laughs> um, number three is chicken and waffles. Okay. That's pretty high praise for, yeah, you like know. Um, number five. <laughs> two or three, five. Okay. Is midnight snack because it was not good. Really? I, I thought if they would have stopped at chocolate with pretzel i think they would have had something pretty good sure but they didn't they went on so they get fit <laughs> number two pb and j okay and number one is actually key lime oh yeah like uh, it. which that's pretty surprising. probably because it's white chocolate yeah so you yeah. You, you played into the what i think is better <laughs> Um, the limes were there. Like I said, I felt like the crust was there. Kind of yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, I, for me, it's not so much chocolate, right? It's mild. Yeah. So, all right. No, I, I, it's really good. I think we all need to go in there and just pick one that we think would be amazing. One each, yeah. One, and not, not even say anything. 
right. I, I there's got to be something that we can find that's just like, yeah. That, I mean, if that, that's you like, yeah. There's no reason I should have pigs and taters, but I did. And there's no reason I should have a PB and J sandwich in a chocolate. Yeah, but I did, and it's but you did. Yeah. It's actually like good. Yeah. So nice. I'm interested into seeing what else is <laughs> yeah, out there. What else they got? Yeah. Noise. Nice. All right. That's so weird. Um, I'll go next. Okay. What, what, what's the one that you picked up? Actually, the chicken and waffles. <laughs> but it tasted way different because it was like half melted. And so I didn't get a lot of the chicken at all. Um, and I was like, oh, this is ve- this is just like maple and salt. Hmm. And the waffle like cr- crispy crunch. Hmm. And so my experience... Uh, earlier today was totally different than these that have been kind of just half chilling huh. on this ice pack for a little bit. Um, so I actually like it better now and was glad that it was like a different experience because whatever. Cool. Uh, but yeah, we, we literally saw that and I guess that that's the staff favorite is the chicken and waffles at uh, Parker's Shoppy. Really? Cool. So yeah. Huh. All right. So uh, for me, um, might as well do five. <laughs> Uh, number five is going to be. Uh, You're not gonna call them a fat idiot. Pigs and taters. Not yet. Number four. <laughs> um, number four is gonna be chicken and waffles. I do really like it. If this whole lineup wasn't like very solid, it would probably you know go up a little bit. Uh, number three, midnight snack. Uh, number <laughs> two. <laughs> number two is PB and J. And number one, dude, that key lime pie. So good. Uh, might be like it's top so three weird. candy bars of all time. Like it is. It, really? It is up there. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. It it's even, so it good. Might even deserve a certain word. <laughs> la, 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 la. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Or limey. But I was surprised. Okay. So first of all, that my family picked this out. Like they know the vibe of the show. Yeah. I mean, if there was like mealworms and um, oxbone flavor, they would have picked that because they know that, you know. Um, so I think that they did actually a really good job of picking different ones that were, like, obviously they know I like key lime pie, but... Um, so this but, was your bone. They threw yeah, you a bone. That was probably my bone. The the pigs and taters was probably like, oh, that's weird. Um, the PB&J, PB&J would have been... Was kind of an easy, like, I mean... I Well... When I was standing there, um, first of all, I was holding, like, these two yard things. And so I really wasn't paying attention. And I was thinking, like, oh, crap, we have to go pick up my son. So I wasn't paying attention to this. Did you buy the yard things? We did. Well, and I was holding him while she was, like, paying with it. So so I was, like, I was holding him and doing what. But um, but I wasn't paying attention to this whole whole display right in front of me. And um, and I just caught the top corner one, which was chicken and waffles, and the and I was like, "Whoa, that's crazy!" And she's like, "Yeah, that's our favorite here." And so Stacy grabbed it, um, but I didn't. I literally did not like even glance easily at the rest inf- of them. influenced. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put two yard things in his hand, chicken and waffles. He's like, "I'll buy oh, that." Yeah, chicken and waffles. But so, anyways, um, so I wish I. I'm kind of glad I didn't look at each individual one and be like, "Ooh, I want that one." Ooh, I want to try that one. Um, so I don't even know what else is there. <laughs> Like so. Anyways, go ahead, Paul. You will soon when you go back. <laughs> well, soon. Yeah. Um. All right. So I'll, I'll go ahead and do my top five. I guess you know. You fat uh, idiot. Right? It's top three. I know. <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go. I, I don't even know how how to go about this. You could do top three. Yeah, I'll do top three. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it simple. And your fifth. Um, yeah, my fifth, I'll go. Uh, no, my top three. Um, um, I actually did enjoy the uh, the chicken and waffles probably more so than you guys. Um, so I'll go the chicken and waffles number three. Um, I'll go midnight snack. I, I enjoyed that one. Number three or number two, I, sorry. And then key lime is my number one. Key lime. Unanimous on the key lime. Yeah. Sweep. Chicken and waffles took third. No, was yeah, and then two. we had And then technically, I think midnight snack, because you both did midnight snack. No, I did Oh, no, you uh, did PBJ. Yeah. Okay, then PBJ did second. Yeah. No, I mean, I don't You mean I think pigs I and taters was, wasn't. 
It was it was good for what it was. It was, all right. it was all right. I, I mean, it, it honestly, I think you could take a Hershey's and bacon bits mm-hmm. and just put a little in your mouth at yeah. the same time and chew on, and you'd get the same experience. Same exact yeah. experience. I'm yeah. like, I'm super impressed with Hammonds, man. That was. Yeah, I'm, was I'm pleasant. so I'm, weird. I am really, I want to know more about them and I want to know more about um, more of their flavors. And <laughs> so I, I would be, I wouldn't mind exploring them and the company and seeing if we can do more with, with them. Heck yeah. I mean, that was like five. They're going to come out like bars. with the top three and it's like. <laughs> White chocolate boring on my side. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Ants and they're just going to throw everything at it and then coconut chocolate for you. <laughs> okay. Maybe pickles. Oh. Coconut pickles chocolate. <laughs> Actually, when I was looking on their site just to get a blurb about them, there was a flavor that was like, I think I had said it was like a bourbon something. And I was like, oh, but man, but, but I think my family knows me well enough that they would have bought that there so maybe they didn't have it there sure. <laughs> they're throwing me some bones so God, how many flavors like, God. yeah that's awesome yeah that's but, nuts well but i, I, but I kind of want to keep it a secret like i yeah, want to i want to like just have somebody throw random candy bars my way yeah absolutely yeah again if you guys want to um, get a shout out on the show or if you'd like to partner with us in any way or sponsor us or any of that kind of th- thing um like i said we are we're super close to kind of uh, moving up in the world and so if you'd like to learn more about us we've got descriptions below and if you'd like to connect with us we've got links and everything explore those links um if you'd like to connect with us um we've got like i said the links below and then you can connect with us if you'd like to um, connect with anson you've got young anson at um, instagram josh um, you can connect with josh at um top three um no, the guys I, at top three dot show. There you go, and uh, or Paul Procise, <laughs> um, and then you can um, always tag us on the social medias. The and, social media, but but share with us um, any of your experiences or any of the things that are your favorite chocolates. Um, but make sure you share on social media these things. You know how to do that on the social medias, but do that yeah. today. I actually don't. That's okay. Forget about what he says. Just do what He's we're asking. He's an old man without. Yeah, he doesn't know how to use the internet. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. You guys have a good one. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for sticking Might with us. Right. We appreciate you guys and being such loyal fans. Yeah. You guys have a great one. Hey. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Legit. That's legit. That's legit. It, legit. I'm legit going back to the crab. It legit. Like I will legit. Like a legit. That was legit. Yeah.